sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Name Bruce, call sign G4ABX. Well, as you can potentially see, my new Raspberry Pi, the uh, Raspberry Pi 02W, has arrived. <laughs> uh, this is the first version of the Raspberry Pi 0W, and um, I've got on the bottom of this one a little USB module, uh, because at the time I had no small uh, USB micro to USB micro cables, so I decided that uh, I would stick a little USB adapter on the bottom. Gives me lots of USBs, far too many, but I think with this new one um, I'm simply going to use it directly. Uh, purchased a cable at enormous expense, a USB micro to USB micro, um, which I shall just open. And this will mate between the, the new USB uh, Pi Zero 2W and my IC705. Uh, eventually this will replace the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 that's inside my KX3 Go box, but for today uh, I'm simply going to use it with the uh, IC705 because I haven't got to worry about uh, USB um, sound cards or, or anything like else like that. Uh, I have bought a matching sound card, well, let me just uh, snip the end off this, um, which hopefully will marry up with uh, the USB Pi Zero 2W um, at some point in the future, and I may well install this directly inside the, uh, the Go box with the new uh, the new Pi Zero. So, let's move that fellow out of the way for now. Um, I'll move that one out of the way too, and we'll open up the new USB Pi Zero 2W. Right, notice. <laughs> Wrist strap. Conductive mat. It's not absolutely necessary, but in fact the only failures I've ever seen of electronic components uh, in this kind of stage, uh, have been because of static electricity. And uh, you, you just never know whether you're carrying <laughs> static electricity with you until you discharge it from the end of your finger to some sensitive device. So let's have a look at this, uh, this new delivery. Um, I bought this thing from um, Cool Components, a great UK company. Uh, in Hampshire, Stockbridge in Hampshire, and um, it was £11.66, which is, I guess, around $15, and of course we have the dratted, uh, that included the um, uh, VAT, uh, and, and there was £3 worth of uh, postage, uh, because, um, well, that's how much it costs to post pretty much anything these days. <laughs> so, uh, delighted with that, um, ordered it on the 28th, and I think I had it on the 3rd of November um, here in France. I'm in France at the moment. So that was the postage from the UK to France. Right, so got that out of the way. Let's, let's open the little beast up and, and have a look. Okay. Hmm, seems to have a dent in the uh, <laughs> Wi Fi device. No matter, that's the, <coughs> that's the vagaries of the Postal Service. I, I hope it all still works. We will find out. Um, oh, it's had more than a dent in that. I'm going to have to repair the, um, the connector. As you can probably see, the connector is damaged. But uh, I can probably repair that. So, um, excuse me a moment while I do a few repairs. OK, I'm back again. Well, after a bit of uh, judicious uh, spudgering, I think the word is, uh, with a couple of um, different tools, I've managed A to get the um, 
SSD card in and B to get the HDMI lead in but uh, as you can see the socket is quite badly damaged so who knows whether it's even going to power up. Uh, we'll find that out shortly. One moment. Um, I've put the SD card in from my uh, previous uh, Pi Zero, this fellow here, just took it out of the socket and plugged it in there. Uh, this is loaded with Builder Pi uh, from Jason Cam 4 ACK. It's the at well, it's the device that I use for uh, all of my amateur radio operation, uh, digital mode operation. It's uh, it's super duper, really good. And hopefully, uh, when we apply volts to this um, little Pi W two S, whatever it is, um, we'll get it to work. So, one moment. Let's uh, get the old volts applied. So this is just this cable's just plugged into actually the uh, USB one of the USB items from another one of my Pi's. So uh, I've got a Pi Pro uh, as my desktop digital PC. So let's power him up and see what happens. Okay, green light on. That's good. <laughs> That's definitely good. Screen. Ah, colours on the screen. Let me turn off the uh, illumination and maybe you'll get a better view of what's... Ah, booting. Booting, booting. Are we going to get any further? Ah, yes! We have a result. Builder Pi. There we go. So it's it's working. Just too many uh, too many reflections on the screen. So what I'm going to try and do now is I shall set this up to be headless. Um, I'll VNC into it from my uh, PC, and, and then you'll have a a much better chance to see what's going on. Right, we're back, and um, <laughs> hopefully you can now see the tiny little Pi running Builder Pi on a screen capture, VNC'd in. Um, and uh, now it's a matter of uh, doing all the things we need to do to bring everything up to date. Uh, this is a reasonably old-ish uh, Builder Pi um, device. So I, I need to update the software, but it does look as if this new Pi is, is working fine. Um, the uh, processor is mm, gently warm, so obviously not being too stressed. I would have to say that this boots up I would, almost as quickly as the uh, Pi 4. So that's quite a surprise. Um, the original Pi... Well, just took forever to boot. Um, and what's going to be really interesting now is to see whether we can run any of the applications uh, that you need. And in order to do that, once we've updated the, uh, the Pi, um, I'll come back in and we'll, um, I'll, I'll start the update just so you can see what's going on. And uh, then we'll come back in uh, and connect the 705 and see whether we can actually get anything to work in the in the digital domain. We'll um, we'll have a go at um, probably WSJTX, uh, which is a fairly resource intensive application. See if we can get that to run um, and uh, go from there. So let's just start the update. So updating Builder Pi is pretty straightforward navigate through the menus and to the update tool. Okay. Right, so there is an update available. So let's go with that. Restart it. Restart the update. Update tool. The scan. So this is one of the advantages of uh, Jason's uh, great set of scripts, Builder Pi, um, is that it pretty much does everything for you once you've got it installed, which is very straightforward. 
and uh, it recognises my call sign. And it will now go through and have a look and decide what sorts of things uh, need to be updated. So I shan't put lots on here because it isn't a Pi 4, it is, at the, it is still a tiny Pi. Um, so I'm not going to install all kinds of things on here. Uh, so So I'm going to install FL Digi. Uh, I'm going to install WSJTX. What else? No, I think, I think that's it. Uh, that'll be a lightweight uh, digital installation. Uh, and we'll now leave the thing to uh, go and do its stuff. So um, I will be back shortly. Right, OK, so I'm back. Um, the Pi is upgraded. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just have a check. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm not sure you'll be able to see any of that. Hmm. Tricky. No. Nope. <laughs> All you can see is the camera flashing. Never mind. Uh, let me go to screen capture and that'll hopefully give you a bit more of an idea. Um, OK, screen capture. There we go. Right, so we've now got, you can now see the, uh, the new Pi. Um, the Pi, what's it called? God, I have to get used to calling this thing something, find a different name for it. It is the Pi 02 W. I, I suppose Pi Mini Mark II, something like that. So there you can see the uh, screen capture. Uh, with the 705, and I'm interested to see whether or not we can make a contact. So running just 5 watts. So let's have a look and see if we've got anything of reasonable... Oh, there's somebody. Uh, EC3A. Let's try that contact. Right, transmitting. Fine. 5 watts. Calling again, didn't get him first time. Um, we're only running 5 watts, of course. Got him. Minus 14 dB. I'll just run through the contact. I've given him a report of plus 4. And there we go, 73s, and there's the log of the contact. So TX power 5 watts, comment 705, operator me. Propagation was just direct. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I think that's that's quite conclusive. So the little Pi, the new Pi 2W, I think that means uh, version 2 wireless, this being the wireless chip, works superbly well 
and all you need to run a 705 or or any rig a 703 um yeah any any rig that's got a USB sound card built in is just this device just the Pi 2W and one lead and 5 volts of power I'm running this headless now so we don't need to worry I don't need to worry about the uh, <laughs> rather bent um, HDMI socket and um, that's with a little 8 gig uh, solid state uh, drive in it um, SSD in it I'm really impressed and the maximum temperature we've got up to is 45 degrees centigrade without a heatsink although I have got some heat sinks here I'm going to uh, I should probably apply one of these heat sinks to the device uh, because when I put it inside my go box it's not going to have the sort of um, airflow I guess that uh, that it has sat out here on the bench um, it's about 20 degrees in this room at the moment so all in all I have to say that is a big success and I hope you all enjoyed it so uh, 73 is from me and um, have a look on the website uh, g4abx.co.uk and uh, I'll put up uh, more information there on the bits and pieces that uh, I'm working with at the moment. I would be interested to try this uh, audio card um, because for my... Uh, let me just turn the light on. Okay, for my KX3 a go box it, it of course doesn't have the built-in audio card so I am going to need to use an audio card I think I might give this thing a try so uh, more experiments will be done with this over the next few days uh, have a good weekend thank you very much indeed for watching and have a great rest of day 73s we're sorry the number you have dialed is not in service at this time